Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors. Today it is uh, it's the weekend before Christmas. Uh, it's pretty cold. I mean, it's like 40 degrees. Um, really windy today. So I decided, you know, with the windy day, I'm gonna stay off some big water and I'm gonna go to a small stream. Gonna go fish for some brook trout. Um, I'm fishing a Class A wild trout creek. There's a lot of brook trout in here, but it's a very it's a pretty well known creek, so it does get hit hard. So I'm not sure how well we'll do. I usually can catch a couple here though. Um, I'm going to start off with a little Panther Martin, see how that goes. If they're not really feeling the spinner, um, I'll probably throw like a trout magnet or something like that. But we'll see. We should be able to catch a couple. I have caught browns here too, so um, there's always a chance for that. But uh, my goal is to catch some brook trout. So stay tuned. should be fun. Oh, there was one. Finally saw one flash there. There we go, got it. First rookie of the day. Well, that couldn't have worked out any perf more perfect. There we go, look at him. So I had the, uh, had the spinner on, saw him swipe it. Threw on this uh, trout magnet. And he hit it on the first cast. Brook trout are so slimy. Oh man, there he goes. <laughs> Just as I'm saying that. Very, very tough to handle, but such a pretty fish. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of a look at that one. I'll have to look at the footage later, but like I said, I was throwing that Panther Martin. I saw him flash at it. And I really hadn't had any luck so far, but I throw on this trout magnet and the very first cast he popped it. So I think that's what we're gonna go with the rest of the day. Just one chasing in right there. Got him. Pretty brook trout. So there we go. Nice little brookie. Looks like it might be a male. Back in here. There it goes. Ran right under that rock. But. So. There he goes. Swims back out. But anyways. That's about your average fish for here. Probably one of the larger ones, honestly. Uh, it's been a little bit of a grind. I mean, not a ton of pockets in this creek. It's a pretty small creek, so you gotta go a little bit in between fish, but so far it's going better than than other times here. I mean, we've been here about half hour, 40 minutes, caught two so far, so gotta keep grinding. There we go. Oh, nice brookie. These fish are so gorgeous. And this one's not a bad size either. Oh, he got off. I got him now. I think. Oh, there we go. Like I said, so gorgeous. Get him back in here. Kind of an awkward release, but that's fine. Fish number three, love these brook trout. I'm glad that I'm not catching too many browns. I was kind of, last year I caught my first brown trout here um, and I caught two or three. And I had a feeling that they might take over the stream and I was hoping not, because it's one of the few brook trout streams around, so. Um, but so far so good, looks like the brook trout are holding, holding firm here. There we go.
trout magnet bite is so subtle, especially with these uh, these little fish. You barely feel it. Ah, shoot. I should probably invest in a small net or something, but it's fine. We got him. All right, there we go. Another beautiful brook trout. State fish of PA, and you gotta love them. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Um, ended up with a few, caught four, uh, five, I guess, technically. Um, had my fair share of misses. I missed a few fish, unfortunately, but um, hey, it's all good. Uh, had a great time catching some brook trout. I am on to another stream because it's only 12 o'clock, so I still have about four hours of fishing left, so I'm going to another stream. That'll be another video if I catch any fish, so stay tuned for that video, and I really appreciate you watching this one. I'll see you next time on SC Outdoors.